Hey, if Nintendo's ever watching this video, you should die. Because Nintendo should die. I hate Nintendo's half-made gaming controller. Seriously, if they call this the full product, then they are obviously evil. They didn't even sell the nunchuck with it. Now, top ten reasons, now, top two reasons why that gaming console is, is the worst gaming console in existence. Number one, it's LEGO games require the nunchuck the most. Seriously. I'm just not able to match their evilness. And number two. They sell their controllers half made. If I could say a bad word to Nintendo. Actually, I want Nintendo to just die. Nintendo should stop making game consoles if they're going to call this all that you'll get at Walmart. Seriously. And Sega should start making gaming consoles. At least the first Sonic game is more fair. Seriously, the first Sonic game. It doesn't just say, oh, you have to have a two-piece controller to play. And if you don't have it, too bad you're not allowed to play. Well, Sega done a controller. It was fully made. That's top two reasons why the Sega Genesis is better than this than Nintendo's modern day game consoles with two controller pieces. Number one, Sega made a full controller and sold it to you. They didn't sell it half baked, basically. Number two, Sega's games don't require too many pieces of a, of a controller. Seriously. If you're calling me a spoiled brat, then that's your own fault. You probably played a Mario game on it. And this controller is faulty too. It doesn't have the nunchuck, so that's why it's faulty. And also, Sega should make a fully 3D Sonic game with no 2D. When you play a modern Sonic game, you play it for 3D, not for 2D. If I were to call Nintendo evil, that would be over. Right? That would be understepping. Actually, Nintendo is pure evil because of this controller. They probably thought, "Oh, yeah, this controller should be sold as two pieces for a bigger money cost, and also to suck the money out of others." Seriously, if that was what Nintendo was thinking, then. That is how they usually think. They normally aren't good. And if they ever are, it's because they're trying to make money. Even I cannot get fooled by Nintendo. Nintendo, evil. Sega, better. But Sega should start making gaming consoles again. <laughs> Seriously. And... I hate Nintendo. Just because of this abomination known as the Wii Remote. At least if you're going to sell a two-piece controller, you must sell every piece with it. Or you're just going to get sued. For a broken controller. Seriously. Top two things you just you should never do with a controller. Number one, make the buttons far apart. This will make it to be weird when they are playing a 2D game like this. 
And if they only want to play on one hand, then this will get them hating your own gaming console for sure. And if that's not enough for you, if you want to get them hating your own controller even more, just sell it as two separate pieces. This will make it to be where they actually try to get you sued no matter what. Seriously. And if you're going to buy a Wii, don't. The Wii consoles are a abomination because Nintendo only makes half of the controller. And I got this one at Walmart. And since it was fully evil of Nintendo to do this, I am sure Nintendo will do more evil in the future. I just can't wait to see what evil things they come up with. Plus, I even got into to search. The nunchucks aren't in my house. Plus, I can't do gameplay videos of this thing. Because the only game that doesn't require the nunchuck is this one. And then again, it doesn't work. It's like Nintendo thought to themselves, how to make Nintendo evil, of course. Just make a double piece controller that all pieces are bought separately. And you only get one controller with the package. Yes, I think, or two. And Nintendo should just stop. Sega good, Nintendo bad. I suggest you buy the Sega. No, wait, um, uh, Sega Genesis. Because I suggest you buy the old one with every game with it. You know, so give Sega your money, not Nintendo. Do not buy any of Nintendo's evil consoles. Buy the Xbox or. Sega Genesis's or Sega's future console. Plus, I know that Sega won't quit on Sonic, so Sega shouldn't quit on actually making game consoles. They should get back into the console wars. And Nintendo just stop. Nintendo should just stop because. Everyone hates Nintendo because of this game system's half-baked celled controllers, basically. Like, imagine if you're with a pie and you pay for a full one and you get an, and you get half of a pie like that. Did you hate it? Yeah. Then you'd be asking for a full-on refund, which is what I'm going to do. If Nintendo doesn't get the nunchucks out into Walmart, at least 30,000 of them, because I want one. Plus, if Nintendo sends a nunchuck to me for the Wii, they will say they're okay then. But, if I don't have the nunchuck, even on today, Nintendo should die. Sega should live. Us people complain about Sega when they should be playing about Nintendo's evil money grabbing schemes. Seriously, it's like Nintendo says, Oh no, when we're making a game console, you need to buy a million controllers. But if you want a million controllers, you must buy a million nunchucks too. Seriously, it's like Nintendo says that. All the time. And I would never suggest the Wii to you. Because of Nintendo's marketing failure. Which was the controller. Is the most evil scheme Nintendo has ever came up with. 
And if Nintendo watches this video good, they should sell their controllers with both pieces. Because if they don't, I'm going to ask for a refund. Even on the Wii's. Well, this one, of course. Or I'll sell it for two million dollars. Because it is faulty. Because it won't allow me to play a game without a nunchuck. Seriously, Nintendo, stop now. And Sega, make a new game console and a fully 3D Sonic game with no 2D sections. <coughs> that should happen because a fully 3D Sonic game would be good. Just don't program it as garbagely as Sonic Go 6. Sega should put more time into Sonic. Plus my idea for the revolutionary Springbird will only allow for Sega games, not Nintendo games. If it has a single bit of Nintendo in it, it's not allowed. Because Nintendo does what Sega does not do. Sega plus Nintendo's evilest controller makes Sega look like angels, basically. Seriously. Plus, if you say it's because of they need money, Nintendo doesn't really need it. At this point, since Nintendo's doing better than Sega in the gaming console, which I'm still wanting a Sega console only. Guess I have the Sega Genesis in this well, a remake. It's cheap. But it was kind of worth it, too. And if you don't excuse me, I'm going to get a full-on refund unless I get the controller. There's Nunchuck. And Nintendo better release it tomorrow. The Doubler. Like the... Just release the Nunchuck after, like, every single day. Plus, I think Nintendo... Has finally done it. They became pure evil. And the Nintendo Switch? No. Don't get another Nintendo console. I don't even care if it's Kirby games. You shouldn't get it. Because Nintendo just wants you to buy stuff. For their own wantings. Sega are angels compared to Nintendo. And Nintendo could have saved themselves if they only sold the controller with the nunchuck. Seriously. It, what Nintendo done was a true sin. Seriously. It's a true sin. Plus, Nintendo must have been spawned from evil. And I prefer Sega because they put more quality into their game systems controllers. Like, do you know of the Sega Genesis? Their controllers then get sold in two parts. If you wanted to play with two players and you don't have a single controller, you have to buy two controllers and not buy four pieces. Seriously, Nintendo bad, Sega good. Plus, I will actually make sure that no one gets it. Plus, I hate Nintendo because of their horrible game console, the Wii. And, until I get an unchuck, that'll be all that I think of them. Bye.